everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Joanna and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you all how I create an SVG using Canva okay so I do have my Canva already pulled up here I do pay for the monthly pro um, I believe it's eleven dollars a month which is very helpful for me because I use it to make my YouTube um, thumbnails and I use it for a whole bunch of other things it does give you a whole bunch of graphics and stuff that you can use there's a bunch of templates um, so I highly recommend that you use Canva if you're just starting out and you're not like a pro designer um, or if you're not used to like InDesign or Photoshop and stuff like that Canva is very good for beginners so in the upper right hand corner I'm gonna click create a design and then here you have a whole bunch of templates or you can do a custom size. So I'm just going to click custom size and I'm just going to use 8.5 by 11. Um, and I did also want to let you know if you hear me, I sound um, like congested and stuff. It's because I do have um, COVID. Um, so if you hear me like coughing and stuff like that, that's why. Um, but yeah, so if you see here, there are a bunch of templates that you can use each um, kind of pre-sized template thing has templates in there for you to use as well which is really cool but we are creating our own SVG so I'm just gonna go down here so you see here on the side on the left side it says templates elements uploads text sorry I felt like I was gonna sneeze uploads text logos and more so we're just gonna click text and here there's a whole bunch of pre-picked font combinations which is really awesome because they pre-picked fonts that will look cool together so there's a whole bunch of options here you can scroll through these and see which ones you do like I'm kind of liking this one that says coffee please so I'm just gonna select it and here I can just change the wording so I'm super into this kind of stuff manifest your dreams do more of what makes you happy creating my dream life I'm super into this kind of stuff so I'm using this one here as my inspiration it says manifest your dreams this is a print that I ordered from another small business so I'm just gonna try to do this in my own way so I'm going to just type out manifest and then I'm gonna do your dreams okay and now we're just going to make this fit our canvas so I'm just going to size that down there and I'm going to move this to the middle so you can see here that it does have guides so that you know that your image is in the middle so now I'm just going to change the colors again this is not going to matter because it's SVG but it's for our peace of mind so I think I'm going to do a black maybe a black outline and then the inside we will do pink Let me just open that. Oops, we got black. How do I? <clears throat> All right, let me close that. So now we have the outline black. I'm going to click effects. There we go. So I clicked effects here, and then on here we can change the inside color under color. So I'm going to go to pink. Do we like the black and pink moment? Um, so I'm going to change the shade of pink by clicking this pink color wheel here. And I'm going to make it like a baby pink. Um, okay, I like that baby pink. So I'm liking this, how it looks with the outline on there. And then I'm going to add in some cool elements. So we're going to click elements. It's the second option here on the left side. <clears throat> and under here, you can see there's a whole bunch of different graphics and stuff here that you can choose. So I'm going to try to find these cute, like, star kind of stars here. Let me show you closer. They're, like, they're just kind of like a star kind of thing. So I'm just going to type in star. And let's see what comes up. So there's moving graphics. There's graphics that do not move. 
I saw one that I already kind of like, but I'm just going to keep scrolling to see if there's anything else I will like. Mm, okay. So I think I'm just going to go with this first option here. And then what's really cool too is that you can always change the colors of any of these um, graphics as well, which is awesome. So I'm just going to size this up and we're going to place this where we think it will look cute. So I think that would be cute there. Um, let me see. I wonder what this so it's a glyph star so let's try typing in glyph stars to see if there's any other combinations there This one's kind of cute too. So I'm going to add in some of these. I think this has too much though. So I'm going to take the, delete that one. I do like this one though. This one's just an outline. So this one's not filled in. That's cute. So I'm going to apply this one here. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to add a smaller one next to it. Like that. And then I'm going to duplicate that smaller one. <clears throat> and put it like right there. I think that looks cute. And then I'm going to put this one. I think I'm going to keep this one here in this corner. I think that looks really nice. Let me see if there's anything else that I want to add. I can also, maybe if I try to type in like a boho, let's see what kind of graphics are under here. Oh, these are cute too. You see, this is why I usually purchase my own SVGs because I'm so indecisive. I don't know um, if that's the same thing with you guys. Maybe I'll just add in some more of these. So I'm just copying and pasting them. Maybe I'll add one on this side. Let's see under here. So it looks like there's some recommendations for me. So let me just look under those and see. So there's one filled in that's single here. So I'm going to add that. And that way I can maybe make it smaller and add it on this side. Okay. So I think I like how that looks. I think it looks cute together. It says manifest your dreams. We got a black outline, pink inside, and then we have these cute um, like star things. So I like how it's looking. So now what I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click download. Now under download, you can click your file type and so we have a PNG, so you can use this as a PNG for like a copy mug or a t-shirt, um, sublimation, that kind of thing. Um, you can save this as a JPEG, a PDF, a PDF print, which a PDF print would be something like this. Or you can save it as an SVG. So we're going to save it as an SVG with a transparent background. And we're going to click download. And what's super cool about... Um, Canva is it usually gives your stuff a title too, which is really awesome. So now that we click download, we have our manifest your dreams saved here, which is super cool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. 
to my desktop I'm gonna save it under my designs let me just find my folder um, here designs and then I'm just gonna name it it's already named na um, manifest your dreams and then it's gonna be saved as an SVG document so you can see how cool it is to design your own um, things using Canva and then let me show you really quick how I would upload it into um, Cricut okay so now that I have my Cricut open um, I'm just gonna click here on the upper right hand corner where it says new project in the green that green button now that we have our canvas open I'm gonna click upload it's the last option here on the left side and now where it says image I'm gonna click upload image and then here we're gonna click browse so you can see here versus my last video it is a little bit different than on the computer than it is on a tablet so you can see here manifest your dreams is right there I'm gonna click it we're gonna add it and look how awesome we have our SVG already added here and it has our transparent background because we click transparent when we downloaded it. It's already named here under image a name and now I'm going to click upload on the bottom left corner. So now we have it under our recent uploads here. I'm just going to select it. I'm going to click add to canvas on the bottom right corner and now we have our awesome SVG. So let's see here I'm going to click ungroup because it did come over as a grouped image let me see here it did something a little bit weird here so I think I'm gonna have to adjust a few things really quickly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all my black text going to select all my black text and I'm going to um, weld these images together because it's all going to be on the same cut. So now I'm going to click weld for all of my black images and now I'm going to select all of my pink images. Sorry if you hear yelling in the background. My husband is streaming on Twitch and he's a gamer so that's usually that yelling you hear in the background um so i'm just selecting all the pink here okay and now that i have all my pink selected i'm going to weld that whole pink layer together and now we have our pink to the front so now all right so now you can see here that the um image when we when we made it into an svg it didn't keep that same kind of element that it did on canva but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of place it off like a little bit so it can have like a little bit of that black kind of outline there and that's how I will apply it to my cup so it kind of gives it like that 3d look which I think it looks super cool and that's how you can create your own SVGs using Canva I think it was very simple to make you can download it really easily as an SVG you can also take out the background which is really cool you have a lot of graphics and elements that you can use which is super awesome and now we have our cute SVG that we made ourselves and then you could also use Canva to sell your own SVGs on Etsy, which is really awesome. So I'm going to save my project. I'm going to save it as Manifest Your Dreams. And then now I can use this SVG to add on to maybe a glass or something. I still don't know what I'm going to add it to yet, but I do love how it did come out. I think it came out super cute. It was pretty simple to use. That was actually my first time using Canva to create my own SVG, so I kind of learned with you guys. So if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to see any other videos, um, any beginner videos or anything, um, please comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see. I love having comments. 
experience and questions and it definitely helps me with choosing what I want to record for my next videos. I want to thank you all for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!